Hello everybody, this is your boy Drew Jeezy and I am back with you guessed it, another collectible review. I told you guys I'd bring you some stuff from the 90s and I have today, as you see. I have the Ronin Warrior from the 90s cartoon show Ronin Warriors. I have Sire of the Torrent. As you can see, they have re-released them as special colors uh, from Bandai America. Shout out to um, Big Bad Toys once again for giving me this product at a pretty decent fair amount of time. Um, like I say, man, I, I'm a big 90s kid. I grew up in the 90s, man. And as you can see, I have the, the Ronin Warrior Ryo the Wildfire, the original Japan box. So if you guys have not watched that video, please watch it. Before I continue any further, to my first time viewers, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that like. Please hit that bell for all notifications. Please leave comments, good or bad. I greatly appreciate it. And it goes a long way with the YouTube algorithms. Now, back to the box at hand. Sire the Torn, I must say, just like my Kento Hard Rock box, which I will do a review on pretty soon, they are the same box. This box is immaculate. So you have the old version, which is the Royal the Wildfire that you guys see in the background. Then you have the new version, which is the new updated version. So as you turn to the side, you see Sire the Torn with the armor on, without the armor on. That spins to the front. You got the icon, Bandai America. Um, you also have the little seal of authentication. authentication. The special color with the Japanese writing, you got it turned to the side again. You got a side of Torrent with his face plate on. I must say, man, this thing is crazy. As I take it off the turnstile real quick, you can tell it's from Japan because it has all the Japanese handwriting here. Let me make sure I can get it zoomed in. There you go. From Bandai Spirit America, this figure is die cast metal. For all my collectors that didn't know that, it is die cast metal. This thing is awesome. Got the pictures here, the two face expressions. It does sit in a seat like it does on the show. It is definitely show accurate. This, uh, I told you guys I was bringing out some hot content. I wasn't playing. It has the icon up here at the top, Armor Plus. And then it has the special color edition, which is the one that I did order because I like the metallic. I like the glossy finish. I don't like the metallic finish. It has the gold flake Chinese writing. Then it has side of the torrent with him in the background. Uh, it has Tashigi. I can't pronounce that. Nations, same thing that my SOC has for his Megazord and Dragonzord. Man, the box is super crazy, super nice, super, super good. It's a little bit smaller, and the artwork on this thing is just immaculate, man. So, shout out to you know these guys who made this um, Ronin Warrior. I don't want to butcher the name. Shout out to Bandai Spirits, Bandai America. You guys did great work. Oh my god, I'm still it won't. Okay, there you go. I'm sorry, guys. Shout out to all them guys, man. But enough about this box, man. I'm gonna open this thing up and we're gonna take a closer look at the accessories and the details. All right, you guys, you can see how I've taken everything out of the packaging and I must say it was a lot of stuff in the packaging, um, but I got it all out. As you can see, it is a bunch, a bunch of accessories. So we're gonna start from what you see is my right to my left. So of course we're gonna start with the uh, hand plates for the hands. Uh, typical, basically plastic pieces that go on top of the fist of the hands. Um, on an open hand or closed hand, you know, just because it goes there. And then of course you have, after that, you have the hands here. You have one open, one, one uh, weapon holder hand is what I'm gonna call it. Um, as you guys can see, I got it in my hand, so excuse me. You got the slots for them pieces I just showed you right here. They do go inside. Um, like I say, these are party posable hands. Now, you know, you guys, you've heard any of my, anybody who's been watching me for a while know I hate extra hands, especially these, but I will use these because they're good for posability for the most part. And of course, I always use these because I like to put the weapons on. But you got those there. Then, of course, we're going to go here. So this is the extended neck piece that you have to use in order to put the helmet on because the, the neck piece it has on there is shorter. So you will put this on there and then put the head back on there as well um, to put the helmet on there. And then of course you have the facial expression here. I love the mold. I love the way this is built. It's a good hard plastic mold. I think these are hand painted for the most part. I just love the way uh, side looks with the, like he's hollering or like powering up his, his detail. So, by the way, the price point for these figures, I got it off Big Bad Toys. Once again, shout out to Big Bad Toys. It's about 184 with the tax and everything came out for like two, two or three. So it's been about a good $200 um, on these figures. That's one thing right there by anybody who wants to know the price of them. So once again, I got mad from Big Bad Toys. Once again, you got the same thing. They give you four sets, two sets of these. 
uh, just in case you lose some, I'm assuming. And these are plastic, so they will break, I think, if you do it too hard or too wrong. So you get two sets of those. And then, of course, you have the other the other pair of hands that goes on the right side and left side. Open hands, once again, I will be using all the hands because I think they're pretty cool. So with the Ronald Warrior figure, it's just the amount of our um, pose mobility you can have is limitless. Next, we're going. Next, I'm going to show you the shoulder pad. This goes on the his right his right. If I'm looking at it on my camera, it's actually the left. It does have an L and an R in there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It tells you what side it's supposed to be on, but you can, you can tell what side it's supposed to be on. But this is um, what they call die cast metal. So the figure is half plastic, half metal, and it has a good weight and it has pretty good balance. And this is, I like this because you it's, I like it. Die cast metal is the best way to go when it comes to figures. Same thing, this is the chest plate. Once again, die cast metal, real, real good uh, articulation. Show, uh, show accurate, the paint is spot on. I love there's hardly, the less plastic, I think honestly the better for me. That's just my opinion though. Then of course you have the the forearm guards. I think this is a good hard plastic mold. I don't think there's nothing die cast about this. Um, pretty cool, like I say, this basic forearm mold. Then of course you got the uh, the knee, the knee joints. I don't know what to call this exactly. I know it goes on the knee exactly. And this is die cast metal too. So when you do armor him up, you do have to swap out the pieces to um, put this on. So as well. Then of course you have the thigh joint. No, the calf joint. I'm sorry, not that. The calf goes on the calf. Once again, this is die cast metal. The only plastic you see is this part here, which locks in. And it's easy. It's an easy snap. You just push it in, and it does snap in. I don't know if I'm gonna do a video for you guys to show you how I put this together because this does take a little bit of time. I'm not sure you guys wanna, you know, want me to waste my time doing that. I'm not sure. I'll let you guys know towards the end of the video. But this is the left one. It has an L in there to let you know that it goes on the left side. And then of course you have the foot that goes on top of the foot. This is the other armor piece. Once again, the left side stainless. I mean, uh, die cast metal. Really, really strong. This is the only plastic part in there, so it just snaps on top of the foot. So all these pieces just snap. They don't. You don't have to glue them or stick them or screw them. They all just, they snap in there. So for $200, this is the reason why it's a lot of pieces and you just snap the pieces on. I thought that was pretty dope. Same thing, you got the right side. The foot covering has an R right there, as you can see. So it goes on the right side. You got the calf again, the gap, the calf armor piece here. It has an R for the right. Once again, these are die cast metal. Only plastic is what you got in here. Next you have the other, the other knee piece. So like I say, Everything that you've seen from the left is the same thing with the right. So you got that. And this is the back piece for the side of the torrent. It just snaps on. Everything fits like a like a puzzle piece. So if it does not go in, that means it does not supposed to be there. And then, of course, you have side of the torrent, his mask with the visor. This is a plastic mold, but it's really, really good. It's not a cheap plastic mold, so you can't just push it. It has a little flexibility. But you can't pop these on and off without tearing them up. I do. I love this. I'm trying to show if I'm. I'm not sure if I want to use this for the final scene and just use this regular helmet. I'm not sure yet. I gotta find out. Uh, so of course next you got side of the torrent. His full helmet here. I must say this thing is is nice. But the only thing about side is if I felt like out of all the helmets, here's the only one that looked like the plainest compared to Kento, Ryo, Rowan, and uh, Sage. Everybody else helmet looks sick. It's just his is just plain. But he side of torn. He's from the water. But I do like it. Nonetheless, I love the scab blue. Then of course you have the other shoulder blade that goes on the left side, right side, whichever one it goes on either side. Once again, die cast metal. Uh, only plastic in there is what you see at the black part. It goes on the shoulder. So when the figure is standing looking at me, it is his left. It might be his right if it spins around my turntable. But it is the left one I'm seeing now. Then, of course, you have his form armor piece with the claw. Anybody who watched the show knows he had this. This is one of his weapons outside of his main weapon. It is functional, which is cool. I like that. Once again, it's die cast metal. This is the only plastic part, which is here and here. But the rest of it is die cast metal. And it does say right arm as well. So all the pieces tell you where they're supposed to go. So there's no way you should not put this together, nor should you break it. Because it's telling you where to put everything. These are the back braces. This is what you put on first before you put the armor piece on. This is how they lock in. So they just slide in like this and they connect. 
for the most part. So I think this is the, this piece may be the back and this face may be the front. I could be wrong, could be the opposite. But those, you have to put those on before you put these on. Then of course you have this, which is the knife piece, the knife holster uh, that, that knife goes into. That's actually, that goes on this arm as well. So side of the torrent did have a lot of accessories. Uh, as a Ronin, he had a lot. I think he may have the most out of all the Ronins. He had the most stuff, weapon-wise, to fight with. Besides his main weapon. Then, of course, you have the hip the hip guards. Once again, die-cast metal. This is the left side. Love the special color. That's why I ordered all special colors, because it's just awesome. So, on the left side. Only plastic piece, once again, you guys see is the black piece in there. It's the flexibility part, but it's pretty cool. Then, of course, you have the front crotch area. Another arm piece that protects. This is functional. I didn't know that, so I just picked it up. So I think that's pretty cool. Once again, the only plastic piece on here is this. And it tells you left and right. So as you face it this way, left and right. So like I say, it just snaps into the piece. Then I'm gonna show you in a second, which is the back half of side of the torrent. Of course, again, die cast metal, just snap it in. So it kind of goes like this. You see, just line it up, snap it in, and then bang, bang. You got that. So. Yeah, and then of course you got the right um, hip shield because that's where it sits at pretty much. Only piece that's plastic is right in here, the black piece. But once again, die cast metal. I love the die cast metal. And of course you have his little knife and that's what this come in at. So the fact that this is fully functional, that's dope. So I, I love that part. So it's fully functional, you can pull it out. Yeah, be careful, it's a little tight when you first get it. So just be careful. And of course, last but not least, his Triton staff is what I'm gonna call it. And then you got the piece here that goes in like this. And what's funny and what surprised me is when I first seen this, this functions identical. So it goes up at the same time and it goes down at the same time. So they gave you a fully functional weapon. Man, this is crazy. So as you can see, this is pretty long. As you can see, I had to come down off the uh, camera a little bit. This is pretty long, but it is worth it. So for $200, man, this thing is definitely worth the bag I spent for it. And that's it, you guys. That's it for the accessories. I know that was a long, long description. Um, thank God you guys paid attention to it. Oh, one more thing. So of course you guys know about the mannequin that the armor sits on um, before you transform. So I will be giving you some people footage of that. And then the arms also come apart and you can put them together. And then last but not least, the chair he sits in you know, nothing to go wild over. But that's it for the accessories, you guys. Now it's time to take a closer look at Psy of the Torrent himself. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, as you can see, I have Psy of the Torrent here on the turntable, man. And when I say when I first got him in today, cause I got him today. So when you guys see the video, it will be Tuesday, but I got him in on Sunday. Man, I, I just, whoo, this thing. I love the Running Warriors, man. I had the old figures when I was a kid, and believe it or not, I lost them all. And the one I had before was all plastic. The fact that now they're making them with die cast metal, I think is dope. Um, side of the torn, one more can you say, man, it, it's these, this thing is it, just, it's just awesome, man. Uh, as you can see, as I'll get them closer to you, faces really, really super show accurate, man. Shout out to everybody in Japan, Bandai America, Bandai Spirit, man. And uh, the other guys that's on the box, I can't pronounce your name, so I'm not gonna butcher it, but I will tag you in this video. You guys do excellent, excellent work, man. The paint on this thing is immaculate. The the way it's built, man, it's just amazing. It feels like it's die cast metal. So the feet are die cast metal. They have good motion. The toes do point up. So as you can see, they do point up. You have this here for a little support. But man, this thing, these things are built. They built, built. Same thing with the other foot. Got a little ankle motion for the most part, but the toes do point up for good pose ability. Then as you can see, you bend it. It's got double jointed knees. Man, double jointed knees is a must. And then these are the other kneecap things that I was talking about earlier with the armor pieces. These do come off when you do um, put on armor on. Um, for the most part, yeah, as you can see, very, very flexible. Not a lot of uh, abdomen roll, but it is what it is. Uh, double jointed arms, big nasty. Like I say, they built this thing to last. You got the hands that got good motion, 360 swivel, uh, pivot motion, closed fist. You know, I'm not gonna use those too much. Once I do this video, they will not go back on anymore. 
Uh, but yeah, double joint there. Shoulder pad. Like this is what they look like during the show before they put the arm on. They they do come off as well. You know, size, head, show accurate, face looks perfect. Spin over here, you got the same thing here. Double joint the elbow, sorry about that. You got the uh, form placed on both sides. So this is the typical base form before they power up. Double joint right here again. This does come off. He has good reach. Like I say, man, for $200, you can't go wrong. They, they, they built this thing real, real nice. Real, real nice. I, I, will, I will commend them for that, man. That's why I fell in love with these things so much because they are built to last. So, man, that's all I can say when it comes to signing of the torrent. Oh, okay. Give me one second, guys. I'm sorry. He wants to give me a hard time, as usual. There we go. That's all I can say about side of the corner, man. The biggest thing is me putting this bad boy together with his armor and putting him next to his boy right over the wildfire. Um, I will give you all some footage of the armor piece in the seat. I'm going to give you some footage of him with his armor completely on and some cool poses the best way I can, man. That's going to be for the end of this video, you guys. You guys know I give everything a rating. You guys don't have to guess. This is a 10. I don't, you don't have to guess. You didn't hear me say one thing wrong about this room where you think because there is nothing wrong. I'm not even trying to find nothing wrong because for the money you pay for this thing, it better not be nothing wrong. So once again, shout out to Bandai America. Shout out to Bandai Spirits. Uh, Armor Plus, Running Warrior, Special Color Edition. It's just awesome. And I can't wait to get uh, the last two, last three. So anybody who watches the show know what three I'm missing just by what I have on my table. For who don't know, um, I'll let you go to YouTube and look up the Running Warriors and see what I grew up watching in the 90s. For all my 80s kids that grew up in the 90s, y'all know what this is already, man. But thank you guys so much for watching the video. Um, spot shout out to my YouTube inspirations. You guys know Tall Guy Curve You, Mr. Organic, Life of Corey, I'm in the Hellcat, CJ on 32s. All them guys are great, man. That's the end of this video. That's all I got, guys. So. This is your boy, Drew Jeezy. Competition is always easy. You guys be safe. You guys be blessed. Until next time, you guys, I am out. Cause I just wanna hear it out your mouth, yeah Give me fuel, it's a tool that I use To go ahead and run my mouth, yeah I take shots, I take loss, I make shots, I miss lots That's how you get big boss, you get yachts You swing lots and pop off a big shot I ain't done chasing, got big dreams, bigger things, impatient Who's at the top, think they need replacement? Who's at the top, think I'm gonna erase that face it? I don't give up quick, I don't give up shit. I won't give up this Cause I know that I want it, know that I'm on it I'll make it, I promise You don't wanna f*** with me a slow burn like a disease Just tell me that I can't show you things that you